Well, our belief is that deputies have the ability to wear the same thing that any member of the public could wear. It's in the court order. Um, I think the court order speaks for itself. New details at 6. We're hearing from both sides after a federal court has denied Pima County Sheriff Sergeant Aaron Cross's preliminary injunction against Sheriff Chris Nanos. And all this comes after Nanos placed Cross on administrative leave for participating in a political protest allegedly while wearing department issued clothing. Cross claims Sheriff Nanos violated his First Amendment right by placing him on paid leave. The judge also ordered the department to clarify its policy about what employees can wear while campaigning. 13 News reporter Renee Romo looks into this a little bit more with the Pima County Sheriff's Department. But for me, I look at that in the 40 plus years I've been here, We've never, ever had this come up. Nanos went on to explain that he realizes the policy is not black and white as there are various departments with different uniforms. However, as the statement to the court outlined, wearing certain color shirts like green with khaki pants and tan boots can make an off-duty deputy appear to be on duty, which is where the line is drawn. Despite some ambiguity, Nanos says that all of his deputies have understood this in the past, with the exception of one. However, Cross's attorney, Steve Serbolic, claims there are parts of the policy that weren't there before. Because we've never had a sheriff that's tried to silence people from protesting while they're off duty and not in uniform. Both sides still claim the court's order as a win. However, in denying Cross's preliminary injunction, a judge said while Cross had a right to protest, he was doing so while, quote, certainly attempting to look like an on-duty deputy. In reaction to the ruling, Nano stressed that the court sees that Cross did violate the Hatch Act. How the court themselves looked at the exact same facts I had that day and came to the same conclusion. Sergeant Cross, you violated the Hatch Act. But Sir Bollick said Cross truly didn't think he was breaking any laws. Aaron Cross absolutely believed that he was on the right side of the law when he was wearing a tire that didn't have department logos or badges or anything else like that. Now we have further clarification because it got so absurd to the point where Aaron didn't even know if what he could wear to a protest. Now, Nano said that while they did their best to clarify PCSD's policies, they are ready and welcome any questions the federal court may have. Live on the South Side, Renee Romo, 13 News.